Fati, see if they're easier to pronounce. There we have one Binter, Rosli, three Cheng, four Tang, five Chong, six Engplom, seven C or C, <laughs> number ten Yeo, eleven O. How you pronounce NG? NG? I'm sorry, I need uh, advice for that, guys. 12 Tan, 15 Litsuka, uh, 19 Verbel, and 22 Ong. And the game's on, and the girls of Amager are in possession of the ball. Here we are uh, in the game. So it's the first game uh, for Amager and the first game for. Uh, the Singapore girls, the first show up here at the Champions Cup ever and the first Asian team uh, playing at the Champions Cup from the girls side. So uh, Amager from uh, Denmark in blue and uh, the Fetties from Singapore in white. And I want to say that we have the referees Orus from Colombia and the deck referee, water referee number one, uh, is Jane, Jane, Jane from Jane, Finland, yeah, Jane? Jane, and Kai from Norway underwater. All right, let's see. Free throw for Denmark. And I would say that probably Danish team is a favorite just because of the experience you guess so too. they have. So let's see what the Fatis have to offer. Especially uh, we have experienced players in the um, Singapore team like Alice Chong, with which I had an interview, uh, which is on uh, Facebook, uh, a written interview. Um, she played, um, well, the stream is off and here is it back. Um, she plays a lot of hockey. She plays a lot of hockey and underwater rugby, and so are other players. But it's the first real international um, game as oh, a team, I guess. I just realized I read the family names of the parties. And another, there is no goalkeeper now. This is a dangerous situation for the uh, Singapore basket. It's almost surrounded by a Marga player, and it's, uh, I guess, a question of time before we sort of we see the first goals from Amaga. And I have to, I'm surprised that the Fatis have more players than uh, the Danish girl. The Danish girl have eight in total for the whole championship. Eight? Yep. Wow. Oh, here we go. There was an empty basket. And uh, score. the Fatis were uh, pulled away from the basket and thought they are under attack. And they didn't take care of their uh, back basket protection. So it was an easy play when the, the Danish uh, team got a uh, hold of the ball to go for an attack on the empty basket. So it's 1-0 after about uh, two minutes in the first half here. Amaga in blue against uh, Singapore. Amaga from Denmark against the uh, Fed UR, UWR from Singapore in white. Uh, Amanda, I'm not sure when the, the games are going to be uploaded, I believe. They uh, are. Already, I think. They just uh, have she to said scroll. she can find know. them. We have to ask and come back to you the moment we can get some of the And another attack from uh, Amaga people. going into the basket. Um, but you see uh, the, the fatty girls have uh, problems uh, adapting to the constant attack from Amaga. And the, the gaps are pretty wide here in the defense of the fatties. But nevertheless, they in the last seconds, they do a pretty good job to keep the ball away by tackling it to the surface. And it's not that easy for a marker to score, even though the on the first goal, the ball, uh, the, the goal has been empty. Um, here, another attack. Oh, that was a trip to the basket from a marker player. It looked like for this side, at well, least. Well, it looked like, uh, at least. And now a marker is uh, keeping a gap on the basket of the fatties. Uh, really good job from the Singapore girls only to have uh, one goal in the basket until now but the gaps are huge but the to see the will of the Singapore girls to defend and this it, 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 wow this basket was surrounded by Danish players okay, I will. but uh, they didn't manage to get the ball in because one of the Singapore the, the Singapore girls really defending their goal now with their teeth it's really th in the With last second. Yes. Yeah, really well behind it's the last the second. Uh, um, they they go in between. Look look at these gaps like oh, this. Oh, that's a pity. But well, well, yeah. great job. I mean, they this is a very experienced team. Even if there's just eight, uh, the Danish girls have been always very fighty, and they know they have a lot of experienced players. Um, I believe. 
I know some of the names and uh, yeah, it's about it. It's very good uh, what they are doing here. The the Fatis are doing a, a great job. I mean, five minutes into the, the this game and the first half, and it's just two zero. So they are putting up a good fight. And now oh oh, they're a little bit late. They need to be careful yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. They're they are always a little bit. Uh, it it will be difficult for uh, um, the Singapore girls to hold up uh, their pace with which they fight against the attacks from uh, Amaga and um, you see how fast they, they go away from the basket and try to push forward but stuck in the attack counter attack of Amaga and another fast attack on the Fatih goal oh this is empty again yeah, yeah this is they're not coming back on time yes, yes. They well it's experience as, as well yeah yeah they concentrate too much in the attack and they're a little bit uh, slow in coming back and yeah. i don't want to know what the jet lag is doing to them who can tell me guys what's the time in singapore right now it's quite early i guess uh, uh for them and i know that alice uh, just made it last night and um <coughs> rolexi was saying that uh alice chong uh, was one of the was a former player of Hammerheads in the U.S. Uh, probably one of the first, if not the first, in Singap yes. Singapore. Yes, Alexi, uh, I made a, a big interview play. with Alice uh, uh, on the Facebook on the Facebook note, and we know her story. Uh, you can read it there if you check on the underwater rugby player United group. Oh, uh, 9 p.m. in Singapore, so not really early. Really well, late that's, that's a quite <laughs> a good time to have underwater rugby game. Now, Fatty girls are in attack, and they're going in on the basket of uh, the Danish boys are coming in of uh, Amager and the Danish girls uh, are doing an easy job holding them back but the fetties are good ball control and are going in and in on the basket wow very nice playing here very nice uh, attack uh, system from uh, from Amager from uh, the fetties Cool. Okay. I mean, great job. I mean, yeah, they managed very to nice attack, attack a little bit. And now oh, we have now a counter attack, counter attack from is going Margaret to be almost a, an empty basket yes. again. Yeah, but they have to caref be careful. I mean, the, the Danish uh, players are very well known for the counter attack. As w I mean, the Norwegians and uh, yeah, they have a very fast uh, counter attack. And yes. They yes. need to be seen. Maybe they need to take a timeout and regroup and make pay attention to that because that's right. Really, the. the a big problem right now that they but have. it was a nice attack yeah, we, we saw great. here and uh, two times they have been really attacking the the goalkeeper so not like only probing the defense but going in and trying to score and it could have been a chance so uh, let's uh. see what they have in store and if they can keep up uh, the speed they put in the water because you see it's much more demanding for them than it is for uh, the Danish girls Lorena. 4-0, no, and I just realized that I made a mistake. It was the Norwegian boys of Akaren arriving. It's just I saw Christian and he's Danish, so I, I got confused. Well, <laughs> but yeah, he's if you see Christian, you have to ask him which game he's playing right <laughs> now, which team. <laughs> he's changing. Okay, wow, well, another goal for Amager, and it's 5-0 in the first half, and it's still 2 minutes and 30 seconds left, and it's free throw. I know, was not, was not score? No, it wasn't, sorry, it didn't count. I just see that the uh, uh, referees counted like it was pressing underwater, so it's a free throw for Singapore. And it would be cool if they can keep the ball and try to get organized uh, in the attack and see if they can create uh, a little bit of um, chaos in the defense of, of Denmark. Remember, they're very experienced, but there are just eight of them, so that could, you know, you can always get into the condition. I mean, maybe not now because the first game, but if they can attack um, long enough, maybe they could create a gap or so. <coughs> well, the that problem, I think, for the Fetis is to keep up the pace. Um, yeah. you, you see them really going in with everything they have and if you do it for a, an extended time in a, in a, in a against a, an experienced team like Amaga you will lose your coherence uh, uh, your your team play no, what? Coher coherence uh, your coherence I think okay. don't know if it's an English <laughs> word it does exist it sounds Latin but uh, I well guess I just make it up here coherencia <laughs> so free throw for uh, Fetis and uh, immediately the ball carrier is under attack by Danish girls, still in the middle of the basket. 
and we have a one-on-one -on -one fight uh, three meters in front of the Amago basket and uh, Amago player comes out of this with the ball heavy foot checking defense by the fatty girls very well done I think they can be uh, confident uh, they have a confident game and can be quite satisfied uh, with their first uh, appearance here and another attack by two Amago players on the goal uh, of uh, the Singapore girls and this time they have been there in time to fend off the first wave and the second wave and uh, this is good defense work if you can hold against uh, uh, yep. an experienced team like Amaga for the first two waves oh. now we have one uh, yeah th one player against the goalkeeper coming from the back and has a, a easy position to push the goalkeeper up and push the ball into the basket so it's a 5-0 now for Amaga yeah. from Denmark in blue against what, what Fatis time from penalty. Singapore. Oh, okay. Time penalty for uh, the Fatis. I didn't. I guess so. Yeah, we missed it, or we didn't. We didn't realize when it happened. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming because it's on the left, but it's my time and it's blue. No. A ver, does it means the the, the 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 time? We need to ask. We need to ask because we're a little bit confused about how the displays we, know we have here in front of us. All right, so end of the first half, uh, and uh, congratulations to uh, the Singapore team in this first half. That they did quite what, what I wanted job. to say is yeah, that uh, we can see that the goalies don't have a lot of experience, so sometimes it's difficult for them to turn around and put resistance. They are more standing in uh, in place, uh, but that's normal. And yesterday we had some great advice from. Uh, Samuel Gaviria from Orcas telling us all the statistics and all the biomechanics about the backstroke attack and then they were all there paying attention we were talking with Jorge Franco from Orcas as well and the national the national coach the head coach of the U21 of Colombia that just won the World Cup and we learned a lot about mental training and how to use it so all the fatties were there and hopefully they, they can take advantage of all this knowledge and implement it so grow in the sport so that has been really a great academy we had again all 80 people there it has been really uh, amazing uh, all the, the discussions all the topics and the experience itself so yeah we are really happy about so it and hopefully we can uh, start uploading stuff in the next days after the champions cup finish and uh, we can go over the material, the pictures, and everything. Yes, uh, and if we go on, uh, probably to uh, triple the the number of participants at the Underwater Rugby uh, Academy here in Berlin next time, we will have um, some 200, more than 200 uh, visitors, and we have to find new rooms to accommodate them. It was a great day yesterday. We learned a lot, and was a successful was successful day it was really big fun and also please visit our Instagram and Facebook site we have a social media team from the uh, World Cup uh, team world champion team world champion <laughs> world championship team wow that's a word <laughs> world championship team uh, from Graz And that uh, Saturday, uh, uh, we have Lisa Sefos here. She's right now in our uh, commentator box. And uh, she's head of the um, of the social media team that is uh, infiltrating the teams, the players in the pool area and asking them uh, weird questions. For example, one question is how you meet a bear and he's with a beer and how do you get the beer from the bear? Did you already get uh, answers, uh, uh, Lisa? Um, this one? I'm not sure if we got an answer to this question already. It's not just me asking questions. So beware with the people with the yellow shirts. But we have uh, always our little questions with us. And we also have the Urhanu Sukhaznaya challenge. So if you find us, just come say the name in the video. Maybe we all win candy together. Yeah, it's all about candy. And I'm still waiting for the finished candy I get uh, for my singing. So back in the game here, Amaga is uh, again on the attacking mode and uh, the Singapore girls made it uh, in time to the basket. Um,
to defend and they do a pretty good job defending but ni now again there was a huge gap uh, in the change of the goalkeepers and it is hard uh, in the first game for a team here against uh, a team like Amager yeah. to sustain the, your level, the level but of defense they put there. They didn't have the defense in uh, experience, but they were fighting with all they had yeah. and you break down uh, eventually. And, and, and it's not just here because they don't, I mean, I believe they're the only uh, team in Singapore, so they train among each other and they're growing and this is the first, I mean, uh, I'm not sure, but I it's maybe the first international championship I mean, uh, um, or th did they manage to do travel to Australia or do something? Marina Mott has uh, just in the uh, live, street, uh, live stream uh, chat it's a pretty new uh, yeah, pretty team. new ga team here. Oh. So Amager, oh they're already again uh, they, they got getting out of these cluster fights on the surface really fast and it's really difficult for the fatties to be in these fights on the surface and away from the basket and to be back in time because they need their oh. numbers to push forward so it's pretty hard uh, this game but uh, the fatties do a very good job and here they are in the tag uh, trying to over the, the uh, ball for carriers trying to over swim uh, the, the defense the offensi offensive defense and now the fatties are at the basket off the Margo girls and we see an attack on the goalkeeper but uh, the ball carrier is tackled away to the surface. Uh, yeah, they played the Pan Pacific last year apparently so well, that's a great start but you know I mean these uh, teams uh, from Danish, I mean mm, the Danish team uh, they're, they're you know much more experienced uh, than that, they have been playing uh, since a few years already so that's, that's difficult, I mean it's um, it takes a few years, you know, participating in different uh, championships so you can grow a little bit as a team and be able to react fast uh, to the game. So now we have uh, the counter-attack again from the Danish team. We have there with the ball right under the goalie. And, uh, let's see, it's two under the goalie. And uh, they're in the corner now. And, oh, great. I mean, the goalie now is trying to recover the ball and trying to leave the area and had a player the you can tell already they are having problems in the conditions because they they go up they cannot stay as long at the water as, as the other players you know from from Amager. now we have two again three right underneath the the goalie and they can sometimes stop the first second wave but eventually um, when they try to counter attack if the Danish girls are too fast, then they cannot catch up and be there on time. And also you can tell that when they try to break through, then they cannot swim like a counter-attack. They just can do a little bit and they have to go up. And yeah. of course they're, they're grabbed by the Danish. So uh, Amager is more and more in control of the whole game. <coughs> and the Fatties have uh, a hard time even getting away from the basket. And if they do, they they and uh, they lose the ball. They get a very fast counter attack from uh, the Amager team. And I I this is difficult because you see the the Singapore girls are under pressure and they they have difficulties to keep up with the pace and be there in numbers to support each other against the the fight of uh, against the tackle of uh, the Danish team let's see it's the second half of the second half of the game <laughs> so last five minutes to go and we have the uh, Danish girl on the goalie with the ball but uh, couldn't score now it's two Danish players the one with the ball had the goalie no, no, pull no. up and then uh, score another pass on the empty basket we don't have the name of the captain here so I don't know but um, yeah nevertheless they're you know they're doing a <coughs> great job uh, if you compare the, the years and the experience of the both teams it is really yes. they are not even well hopefully they can keep on single digit so they have one more goal to go that would be but uh, five minutes ago yeah. uh, in the in the second half here and it's a eight uh, zero for uh, Denmark against Singapore uh, women and again uh, 
almost a one-on-one -on -one situation because two Amaga players are under the basket but tackled away to the surface by a Singapore player. Um, they do this kind of defense very good but then they have uh, the gaps because when you uh, when you fix uh, players in a cluster above your own goal you're uh, likely to catch uh, to have a gap and to catch a goal and the marger is just waiting here another attack from the open side tackled away pretty good and but uh, the, the, the difference between the the physical strength uh, shows here too in these attacks yes yes and also the size because the danish girls are a bit taller so they have longer arms longer legs and to do heavy point of English How you the say leverage the leverage exactly have more leverage and that makes a difference I mean so let's see uh, <laughs> so we have now a timeout white meaning while well they're breathing there do they have a coach or there's one of the girls it, uh, it does not look like because they normally in the timeout yep. uh, you see the players uh, getting together and uh, talk about the game but this uh, the, the the fatties take the timeout to take a breath concentrating they don't do much uh, talking because this their situation they are in this is pretty queer and uh, they're difficult for them to to deal with a 9-0 lead of uh, the Danish girl Danish girls but uh, we saw uh, some situations where they probably could have scored with a little bit more push and a little bit more uh, presence at the Danish basket so back in the game and we have uh, three and a half minutes left in the second half Amager from Denmark uh, in blue against uh, the Fatur uh, from uh, Singapore in white. And again, uh, Amager is in, uh, in attack and pushing hard on the Singapore basket. First wave in, fended away by the Fatty defense second wave coming in from the close side another player waiting already on the open side now the open side player has the bus has the ball and another goal very well played so two and a half it was the tenth, uh, tenth, no, tenth yeah, zero. yes tenth zero now. Answering, uh, so coming up for the watchers is orcas wales male teams Así que las eh, orcas contra eh, Australia, le, le, el equipo de Australia, van a estar jugando a uh, cuando termine este partido. Uh, yeah, two back. minutes left here in the second half, and uh, Amaga pretty much controls this uh, second half uh, with a with a lot of dominance and not this many chances for the fatties to challenge the basket of uh, Amager but uh, Amager is pushing hard on the fatties here nevertheless they defend pretty well and Amager doesn't succeed in the first run on the basket of the Singapore team let's see we have uh, one of them the it was a number 90 of the Danish team let's see I'll try to put some emphasis and see if I can give you some names it's possible number 90 was Lila well yeah not <laughs> surprisingly Lila Lee has just uh, done that score and uh, it's 11 0 and it's one minute left of this game but the Fatis have done a, a great job um, defending and of course somewhere in between there were a couple of uh, goals that came up quite quickly and uh, because it couldn't come uh, on time with the counter-attack of the Danish team but then uh, they could have always defenders and goalkeeper in position and and stop some of the um, attacks of, of Amaga 
Uh, it's not easy, it's one of, you know, it's the first time for the Fatties to be here. They are coming all the way from Singapore. So I'm really so happy that we have the chance to have them here. And it's a great job. It's one on one. Let's see if the goalkeeper can stop that. No possible. 12 0. And it's 20 seconds left, and probably that's the last. Uh, yeah, but, but you see, yeah. and the, the difference in the size and the the, the leverage the yeah. uh, Danish girls can bring in in an attack like this, it's much easier for them to score and to lift um, these fatty players out. But I have to say, I'm impressed by the uh, performance of the Singapore girls. You don't see them break. Uh, it's difficult for them to adapt to the gameplay yep. of the Danish, and but they, tr they do their best. Okay, that's the end, and i like to say, coming up is uh, Orcas and Wales from Australia. Eh, viene ahora el partido de Orcas contra los chicos de Australia, el equipo de Wales, y uh, el referee, the referee, will be uh, deck referee, el árbitro por el agua es José de los Estados Unidos, um, then the water referees, the los referees bajo del agua son Tommy de eh, Denmark, de Dinamarca, y Birgit de Alemania, Birgit de Germany. Now, the teams, sorry, Wolf, I have to continue very quickly. Uh, from Wales you is seven, Steve, sorry. shut up, thank you, eight, uh, uh, Klima, 13, Per, 15, Nick, 17, Relay, 28 Sebastian, 22 Adam, 24 Oscar, 31 Gonzalo, 33 Scott, I'm reading here, 50 Jason, 55 Ben, 69 Juan Camilo, uh, 97 Janik, and 99 and Nicolas. For Orcas, I'm going to read, uh, acabo de leer los nombres de los chicos de Wales, de Australia, de Orcas. 1 Federico, 2 Jorge, 4 Daniel, 6 Javier, 7 Manuel, 11 Samuel, el Capitán Gaviria, 14 Alejandro, 24 Camilo, 26 Sebastián Londoño, 32 Sebastián Ochoa, 37 Diego, 88 Pablo, 90 Rember, 99 Juan José La Verde, he was the warrior of the um, U21 uh, Colombian team in Oberhausen, so, and he's right now world champion of the category U21. So that's it for the teams, and I still have 40 seconds to say any other <laughs> interesting information ball. Now you can talk. Um, this is uh, the second uh, game for both teams, and uh, the Colombians, uh, the Orcas, started uh, this morning with the first game of the day. Mm -hmm, the first, at nine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry. So and uh, it's, it's also the second game for the Nair world, but Judy. the time.